that at a high level, the notion of really optimizing yourself because you have mm -hmm. a, it's very atypical notion of optimization versus the just grind it out, work your face off kind of mentality. Where'd that come from? Well, I think it's really a pragmatic approach. You know, I think you can always get in that super grind mode, that, that real push, that sprint to get things done. But as in any sprint, if you're an athlete running a, you know, quarter mile, you're going to need recovery after that, you know? And I think that's something that we can sometimes fail to recognize that you don't actually get stronger when you're sprinting, you get stronger when you recover. And I think the psyche is just the same as the body in that we perform best when we have periods where we push and then periods where we reflect, integrate, recover. And so for me, it's just been listening to what works for me. You know, I can continue to grind and continue to perform worse and worse and worse, or I can take the opportunities when I'm inspired and push really hard and then take those next phases to recover, adapt and try and come back the next time and sprint even faster, sprint even farther. But it's just finding that balance that's really effective for me to get what I need to get done. And how do you find that? Like, is there an internal uh, self-awareness that you've cultivated or? Yeah, there's like a natural sense to find balance. And I think we all have that. I think we know it. We just override that voice. We're like, oh, more coffee or oh, more something else to hide the signals that our body is naturally telling us. Like our body is constantly giving us clues. But the problem is it comes with a whisper and we can drown out that whisper in a million different ways with distraction, with, you know, mental processes, with, you know, physical things like, like I said, drinking coffee or taking Adderall or doing whatever you need to do to drown out that sound that says, hey, really, you need to sleep. You know, like that's really what your body is asking for. And so I think it's really just tuning in to what you need and being able to listen to that voice and not only hear it, but follow through on what it says.